So we're going to look at what the Pythagoras theorem states. It says, if I have a leg of a right angle triangle and I square it, and I add that to the square of the other leg, then that should give me the hypotenuse squared. If this holds true, then that triangle is a right angle triangle. So let's investigate this. First, let's label the legs. Remember the legs meet at the 90 degree angle. So this is our leg. And this is also the other leg. Which means it leaves this five to be the hypotenuse. HYP for short. So we're going to take these values and substitute them. So one leg measures three units. So I'm going to put three under one leg and notice the leg is what? Squared. So I'm going to have to put on that square as well. Following the formula, it says plus, plus. We need the other leg and to square it. The other leg was four. So I'm going to take four units and I'm going to square that. And that should be equal to the hypotenuse squared if this triangle is a right angle triangle. So the hypotenuse, it's five units. So I'm going to take that five and substitute it here. Remember, the hypotenuse is also squared. So three squared is the same as three times three, and that should give us nine. We're gonna add to that four squared, which is the same as four times four, and that should give us 16. And that is supposedly equal to five squared, which is five times five. That works out to be 25. Let's add it. 9 plus 16 is equal to 25, and 25 is just 25. So is 25 the same as 25? Yes. So therefore, this triangle is a right angle triangle. <laughs> For short, is right angle triangle. Reason being, the Pythagoras theorems hold true to that. When you take a leg and you square it, you take the next leg and you square it and you add them together. If you take the hypotenuse and square it, you should get the same amount. Great. So I'm going to try another triangle and I'm going to try to make it appear to be a right angle triangle. Hopefully it is one. We're just gonna have to test it So notice some triangles might look like a right angle triangle, but the only way we're going to know is if we test it. So let's say this was three units, and this was two units, and this was seven units. Let's test it. First, we want to label the sides. So this would appear to be a leg, and this would appear to be a leg as well. And this long, long, long side of 7 would be the hypotenuse. We're going to test to see if it is a right angle triangle or not by using Pythagoras' theorem. The theorem states leg squared plus leg squared should be equal to the hypotenuse squared. So let's look at the diagram and use it. This leg was two units. So I'm going to take one of the legs in the formula, put in two, and I'm going to square it. Then I'm going to add the next leg, leg, and it's three units. So I'm going to replace leg with three. And notice it was squared, so I'm gonna square that. That should be equal to the hypotenuse, which is seven. And remember, I'm going to square that as well. 
So 2 squared works out to be 2 times 2, which is just 4. And I'm going to add to that 3 squared, which is 3, times 3, which is 9. And that should be equal to 7 times 7, which is 49. Let's break this out. 4 plus 9 is 13. Is 13 the same as 49? Oh, no. So, they're not equal. Not equal, not equal. So, because of that, then this triangle... is not a right angle triangle. And that's how we prove whether our triangle is right angle or not. So if the theorem holds, then it is a right angle triangle. And this is what the theorem says. The sum of the squares of the legs should be equal to the square on the hypotenuse. In other words, leg squared plus leg squared should be equal to the hypotenuse squared. And that's that.